Oh, sorry. King Raptor subbed for Auto War. That's that's what it is. Okay, so we have game one on Red Comet. I apologize, I did not see the beginning of this game, so I'm gonna have to catch up. But we do have the game. So apologies mostly to easy viewers. So oh, flips it well, flips have just about getting getting a dive in by King Raptor right off the bat. Nice dive by King Raptor. So it looks like, judging by the wreckage and by what's generally going on, we have heavy tank versus light vehicles. King Raptor did. If King Raptor, sorry, flipped it, but went for some harassment. It hasn't been that obvious. Looks like King Raptor has defended well enough against this. Though the Kodachi was able to get away, looks like both times, and ultimately everything is going in King Raptor's favor very quickly. Harassing out in the southwest, like to get rid of the commander here. We just saw that as I jumped in, jumped in right before the commander died. And King Raptor. A couple scores are trying to get rid of the Kodachis here. Not gonna be too successful, unfortunately, but gonna try. Leveler, however, will be very successful. As it will be against the Panthers as well. And Slashers on top of that. So King Raptor already had economically. Double economy, double military, and this is only four minutes in the game. And King Raptor's already pulled very far ahead. And I'll need to reset the win counter. Okay. King Raptor is doing a good job here. Flipstep on the other hand, having to rebuild after the commander loss. Bit tricky, you need to get a lot of metal extractors to make that work, and because of that, they are kind of splitting between metal extractors and factory, and it's tricky to choose which because you don't want to not build units and then just get torn apart, but at the same time, not being able to get metal extractors is a big problem. So, King Raptor is very much ahead economically, like I said, ahead militarily. The Slashers are not in the best position to deal with these Panthers, though, but if this Panther goes down, that's kind of it. Flipstep has one more Panther in play, but once that's that, once that's killed, this Panther goes down, that's kind of all that's left. King Raptor can just waltz right into Flipstep's base and win. Now, I'm not sure how aggressive King Raptor is as a player in general, but I'm fairly certain that King Raptor is going to be confident enough to win having destroyed what he's just destroyed. Especially with the dart coming in there, that is going to be quite effective. Scouting around, making sure that none of the front metal extractors have been taken, and no, they haven't. King Raptor is way ahead for metal extractor production as well. And Leveler Slasher being built up. And the Levelers, this Leveler should be able to deal with the Panther without... Oh no, 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 not quite. Need another Leveler to deal with it, but... We have other levelers, so, or rather, King Raptor has other levelers, so the levelers will be quite effectively able to deal with this. Unfortunately, for. No, that's the dart, never mind. The dart was what went down for King Raptor, but still, King Raptor knows just how little there is for resistance from Flipstip. Now, Flipstip does have about. has three Panthers and two Kodachis right now. It's gonna come down to tactics. It's gonna come down to how they, they're moved, because the leveler, of course, would splash damage. Works best when the opponent dot moves their forces and doesn't line move them. Or point moves them, rather. And not a bad line move, but unfortunately, that wasn't quite good enough. And the Panther's taking quite a lot of damage, as well as the Kodachi, and it looks like the Levelers don't even care. They're just dealing with the Panthers as best as they need to in order to get to the real meat, the metal extractors. And King Raptor's taking care of one of them so far, another one gonna go down pretty shortly after. Flipstep looks to be going for a counterattack rather than moving to defend, but that's not going to work out too well with all the defenses that King Raptor has built up. Remember, King Raptor has a major economic lead. In fact, to the point that King Raptor doesn't can't even spend all the cash that they have. Mo pushing for a fusion reactor, but honestly, it doesn't even matter. Another character would probably be a better idea. I think it might be early for fusion reactor. No, I don't think so. It's an early for fusion reactor, but you know what? It'll work. It'll honestly work. There's enough of an economic advantage here and military advantage that Flipstep basically has no easy way of getting back in. Might be able to grind back in by dealing with these forces, but even if they're dealt with, King Raptor could switch over the place, the character construction over to the Light Vehicle Factory, push out all the units they need, and that will be it. So that's, that's kind of it. That is game one. That was quick. Good thing I didn't miss all of it, but yeah, that, King Raptor getting the Ravagers in a position, and from there, 
We're going to see a counterattack from Flipstep trying to just finish this off, but honestly, that's not going to be enough. King Raptor, as soon as they push in, will win this game. One of the Panthers does go down. The second Panther nearly about to go down. And King Raptor goes to the push. Reaper is going to be some resistance in the way. But even then, it's not going to be enough. The Ravagers will be able to kill in time. And the Slasher as well. Just That Reaper is going to take a lot of punishment. But it's going to go down quickly enough. That there's very little to worry about for King Raptor and Flipstip. Going to GG once the Heavy Tank Factory goes down most likely. And that's not going to take too long either. But five more shots for three... Well, and not quite. Nope, there we go. Is that it? One more. One more. There we go. Heavy Tank Factory's down. Flipstip still has the Reaper. But even then, King Raptor shows no fear whatsoever. Shield Up Factory being built over to the southeast, though. Flipstip not quite done yet. But honestly, without the economy of the commander, without most of the metal extractors, actually, most of the metal extractors still up here. But I think Flipstep might just decide to save their energy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Not even just gonna save their energy. King Raptor spots the expansion attempt or the rebuild attempt, and that that will be very quickly put to a salt, put to a very, very quick halt. And that's it. That's done. And honestly, okay, I think the welder's the only thing left. If Flipstep loses that, it'll be game. Flipstep is just holding on for dear life. But honestly, King Raptor has the map. Like, there's just no denying that King Raptor has the map. And Flipstep, GG. There we go. On to game two. Very quick in game one, but I'm glad I caught that. Caught kind of the last half of it, so I'm, I apologize. Rather sorry about that, but yeah. Caught the last half. We'll be back with that. Game two, once... Flipstep chooses the map, and I don't think there's anything new for the actual brackets. Do you think anything's changed? Oh, there actually has been a change. Randy has beaten Yogg-Sothoth for the semifinals. And Lowry and Steel Blue, I don't know if that's started yet, because we are looking at Flipstep and King Raptor. So Lowry and Steel Blue, I'm not sure if that started yet, and I do want semifinals to be held off on, but I'll wait for that until Lowry or Steel Blue wins, assuming that they are playing right now. I don't know that they are. I think they are, but anyway. So, we are about to start the next game. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple seconds, actually. This is going to make editing real easy. <laughs> no, really. It's like I don't even need to cut out the middle for most of these. I think there might be one or two. That's the hard part, is I have to figure out which of these which of these series I didn't stop speaking in between games for. So anyway, about to get started. Flips and King Raptor are in the game. We are on Ravaged this time around. And we are just about to go. There we go. So Flipstep starting with Air Start in the southwest side of the map. And King Raptor starting with Shield Bot Start. As I mentioned last time I casted this game on Thursday, or this map rather on Thursday. <laughs> this particular game, yeah, they just they're just replaying a game. They they have it scripted and everything. No, they have it written down. Okay, I read the start, I go for air start, you go for shield start, and then a few minutes in, here for this, or a few seconds in. This is your build, this is my build. Gotta stick to the script, guys. And of course someone forgets it, and it just goes all hell. So nice, no, probably not gonna happen. Seriously though, I did cast a game of this, I think on Thursday. Yeah. And I mentioned that every every factor works in this map, and now we're seeing air versus shield bots. That one I think we saw jumpy and cloak. So Flipstep is going for about the same kind of economic buildup as King... No, sorry! More of an economic buildup. Flipstep a bit ahead. Not so much for energy, but definitely ahead for metal. Going for very quick... Very quick Ravens, and I think that Flipstep's going to take this match. It's kind of tough to deal with this, especially given that shield bots have Vandals, and Vandals are not the most efficient at killing air units. They're really defensive. They're hard to kill, but killing air units with them is not easy. However, there is a Lotus in place, and King Raptor's commander has been spotted. That being said, Flipstep has given away their air, but 
Even with that, the Vandal Switch is not going to be enough. Six Vandals might be able to stop a bomber in time, but it's not like, say, two Gremlins. Two Gremlins would work. But six bombers, sorry, six Vandals, maybe. Still, that's a lot more units. Yeah, Flipstep might just win this by a way of unit type counters. We'll see, though. There are some dirtbags coming here to try to deal with damage they can. And they are going to get taken out by Flipstep's commander, not by the Ravens. The Ravens are wisely being sent out forward again, trying to get rid of King Raptor's commander. King Raptor's commander will take about three shots, though the Ravens not moving towards the commander, oddly enough. They're moving instead towards the convicts, which kind of makes sense because you want to get rid of the convicts fairly quickly as well if you can. But the problem is the shields. Like, the metal extractors would be a better target if you're going to go for one-shot targets. Go for the metal extractors and actually... Oh, wow, that Raven... Okay, I was wrong. In fact, three Vandals are a threat to a Raven, so King Raptor's commander will possibly be fairly safe. And go for Swift as well, just to have that extra fast firepower. That's also kind of consistent, guys. Get rid of the convicts, but yeah, this Raven should go after King Raptor's commander, because King Raptor right now is taking an economic advantage, being very bold with their commander. Flipstep staying in their base, going for a massive energy boost but not really going for metal too much. Unfortunately for Flipstep, one of their Ravens does go down, so King Raptor is pulling ahead once again. As in the last game, although in this case it's basically because the type counter actually worked out, Vandals are better than people give them credit for, apparently. And Flipstep switching over to Kalugabot Factory right away because there is no way these Ravens are going to do any good unless they go for the commander directly and the Vandals aren't in the way, which isn't happening. The Vandals are going to be in the way. So, Flipstep, as this happens, goes for a bit more economy, goes for some construction, and once again, like I said, Vandals are a threat to the Bombers, to the Ravens. I mean, it's not that quick of a threat, but that Raven's still going to go down as another Raven down, and the last Raven, still in the base, hasn't gone down yet, but it's close. Really close. And that Swift, oh wow, how close was that Swift to death? Two health away from death. Now, the one downside is that these Vandals, of course, can hit ground, so the Bandits are necessary for dealing with the Commander, but yeah, that Swift unwisely goes up front and gets killed. That last 2 HP did it, well, did some good, but it did not wisely stay out of the way. So, at this point, Flipstep trying to do what damage they can, get rid of some Metal Extractors, maybe hit the Commander a bit, but honestly, not going to amount to too much, and Bandits coming in to help get rid of the Commander. The Lotus is going to be a problem, though. That's going to be a big problem between the Lotus and the Commander. Flipstep is safe for now, but only for now. Rogues, however, are coming in. That will be a big threat. Flipstep doing some good scouting here, though. This is nice, seeing this Raven just going around, scouting around. That, That is what should be done. I mean, the Vandals aren't there. Just see what's going on. Going for a Metal Extractor as well. So getting some harassment in, not letting King Raptor get away with everything. Trying to keep King Raptor as honest as possible, but even then, there's not much to be said. It's just going to be an issue. So I don't know what is... What is Flipstep's plan right now? I mean, Flipstep is actually starting to get an economic advantage, though. Mostly by way of reclaim, but... Honestly... That, that cloaky switch is the only thing working for Flipstep right now. These rogues were not intending to deal with that. They were intending to deal with Flipstep's commander and finish it off. But that's not going to work out too well. The Defenders will work out pretty well. Well, all one of them. But Defender Thug, so... Thug Ball is the choice for King Raptor. No felons to support, though. Just pure Thug Ball. Though, to be fair, it's actually doing a pretty good job. However, these Vandals are going to go down, leaving King Raptor open for more air attacks. That air factory is still very much up. And Flips, if they wanted to, could start building more air units. They have enough resources to make it happen. Although, admittedly, the Vandal still does provide some threat. That Vandal's now, Vandal's now gone, but still is a bit of pressure. Flipstep may not be completely confident that they can get away with that. They're going to be mostly confident, though, especially seeing that the thugs are about all that's there as a threat. And no bandits, no outlaws. Okay, outlaws aren't really surprising, though. They have been buffed recently for speed, but lack of outlaws is not surprising. They are not generally considered to be that powerful anymore. Since they got nerfed a few months ago. They got unnerfed a bit, like I said. They're just still not considered that powerful. 
So thugs instead, that is the option. And thugs are doing a decent job, actually. Actually, thugs are doing a pretty good job. Not necessarily for cost, though, but they are doing a decent job. However, Raven comes in, gets rid of one of the thugs for basically free, and Flipstep takes advantage of this as they're attacking to deal with basically expanding. However, so does King Raptor getting up a gunship plant, possibly going for tridents. No, going for brawlers instead, going for a massive brawler switch. Or not really a switch though. No, not a switch at all. King Raptor still building in the main base, so 15 metal for each factory. That brawler should take about a, yeah, a minute. That's about right. Yeah. Okay. Brawler takes about a minute. So a minute from now, we will see King Raptor coming in with one brawler, or possibly waiting a few more minutes for the rest of the brawlers. And the thugs coming in. Thugs and bandits coming in to deal with Flipsip's commander. Try to just get rid of that, or maybe just get rid of the economy around it. Flipsip's commander under a lot of... Actually, Flipsip's commander goes down! Down goes that commander. Flipstep loses what economic advantage they had, too, by losing this entire southeast base. Now, there is going to be some reclaim. Quite a bit of reclaim for Flipstep, however. But even with that, it's going to be tough for it to be claimed. I mean, there's a crane running around here somewhere, I think, but... No, not even. In fact, there's this conjurer. That's that's about... Well, he has three conjurers. That's all there is for any production right now. However, ravens have been built. Flipstep is taking advantage of the lack of vandals to switch back into raven heavy build. It is... I mean, they are getting hit a decent amount, but yeah, it's, it's going to work just fine. However, we do have one brawler up. The second brawler is halfway done. 25 seconds left before that's up. Now, the commander now, I'm not sure what the brawler is going to be used for, other than, I guess, just coming in here and ripping apart the base, because that's all they're going to be used for. And King Raptor is not yet letting that get exposed. So, right now, Flipstep not aware of the gunships coming in. And the shield bots are coming about the same rate as they were before, so no real suspicion will be aroused. Honestly, Flipstep, I think, might just lose this because of lack of scouting that one area. King Raptor might just win because of that particular tactic. And two brawlers coming in. A third one will be joining them in 15 seconds. But two brawlers should be enough. There are no swifts in play. There are a bunch of ravens, but I don't... I think they can bomb brawlers. I'm pretty sure they can bomb the brawlers, actually. And they have been spotted, and they're going to go to bomb the brawlers. And yep, there goes the bombing run on the brawlers. And the brawlers shooting up to get rid of the... Get rid of the ravens. Not doing too much, though. Much more useful against ground. And that's where they're going to shine right now. Getting rid of Caretaker. Getting rid of possibly the airplane factory entirely. But definitely getting... Nope, yeah, that's the airplane factory. That is their target. No, switching over to the metal extractors instead. Okay, it looks like they're just trying to hit everything. Getting rid of the economy, getting rid of the metal extractors, getting rid of the wind generators, mostly metal extractors. And a swift is coming up. It's going to be 10 seconds left, though. But that air factory is a really juicy target. However, the brawlers get bombed out. Although one of the brawlers stays back and just attacks the main part of the map, middle of the map. And yet another brawler coming in here. And the Swift is doing a decent job, but honestly not fast enough. Not a good enough job. The Raven's doing a much better job countering the Brawlers than anything else. The Raven's just bombing them out, because there's no restriction on bombers hitting ground. Just units below them. They can fly above the unit. They can bomb it out. However, the gunship, the Brawler does get rid of one of the Ravens. This is, okay, honestly, that's just kind of comical. The fact they can be bombed out in mid-air. I mean, brawlers are not strictly anti-ground either, because zero K is that kind of game where units can pretty much hit every other unit. However, it doesn't matter. King Raptor still pushing in massive economic advantage, twice the military, and admittedly that's including the commander for King Raptor, but still, that's close to twice the military. King Raptor has not upgraded their commander, so definitely one and a half times bigger. Just a matter of moving for the kill at this point. Flipstep has still got a few ravens, so he can still counter the brawlers, although admittedly, I just... I can't help but laugh at that. Still kind of cool, but it's just hilarious seeing bombers coming in and hitting an air unit. Yeah, the brawler is... doing his darndest. Keeping himself, well, pretty much out of harm's way, although admittedly not well enough, and the raven's still coming in, but even then, the Chloe Black Factory about to go down, and Flipstep... Flipstep loses handily. Wow. That that was 2-0. An upset by the yellow rankings, and King Raptor is profiting heavily from having subbed in for, for whoever the other guy is. 
Honestly, I've never seen that guy's name before. I can't even remember what it is offhand. I apologize. Was... Oh, it caught a place, too. Okay, I guess that... Huh. Well, that was that. That was game. Flipstip lost? I... Okay, if you want advice... Okay, yes, being drunk does not help. <laughs> Don't drink beforehand. That helps. Though in this particular game, it seemed like the problem was basically choosing the target for the Ravens. Going for the comics was a bad idea. Ravens do not dive under their shields, so that was a waste. And Metal Shredders would have been a good idea. Com the Commander would have been the best idea as usual. Com Snipe is really what you go for Air Start 4. Had that happened, I think we would have gone into Game 3. But as it is, we are at 2-0. And... Yeah. Congratulations, King Rap. Wait. Hang on a sec. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that that's... What am I saying? Two... Oh, I just... The wind counter was screwed up because of the direction. Yeah, because like I said, it's not in the... I apologize. It's not actually in the game. Anyway. So that is... That game. So I'll have whatever game is next in just a moment. And it looks like, as for the tournament itself, what's going on here? Well, whoever... Okay, so King Raptor is fighting against Cubay in the quarterfinals. That's probably what I'm going to end up watching. I think Lowry and Steel Blue is still is kind of in the middle. Although I need to make it absolutely clear that I want them to wait. Although, oh, Cubay is waiting in that game actually. All right. I'll be back in just a moment, so stay tuned. Once again, back to intermission music. Be back in a moment. 